Welcome to your stock request for the 30th of August. Hi, I'm Michael Gable, Managing Director of Fairmont Equities. Your stock request is a weekly video where you send us a stock to look at and I'll analyse the chart for you. Uh, this week we're looking at Primary Healthcare, Bellamy's, Kogan, Boom Logistics and ASN. So if you have a request, send it through. Uh, make sure you share this video on social media. And also just bear in mind that any advice here is general only. So primary healthcare, we're looking at a weekly chart going back the last five or six years. Um, what was interesting was it looked like the shares were in a very large um, sort of cons very large continuation pattern. So just you know, consolidating here after having a nice jump up in early 2016. But as we could see, price action has been extremely poor in the last few weeks. And you know, it now looks like the shares have broken under that support level. So, um, and obviously volumes picked up on the way down. So, um, so price action is very weak. Um, unless it can quickly recover, um, I'd expect it to drift back and retest this prior low near $2. Um, Bellamy's, um, obviously the last several weeks for this had looked pretty ugly as well. Um, but now we've seen a strong rally uh, in the last couple of weeks. So this is a weekly chart. Um, so a nice move up, sort of volume coming in near the lows. So we should be able to see um, a bit of a rally here. Um, it looks like a low might, might now be in place in terms of a target. Yeah, we've had these previous peaks here um, and also if we get our sort of Fibonacci tool and assume that it rallies at least 38.2% that also brings us up to this level which is around 14.30. So um, expecting more upside now with, with Bellamy's um, with resistance kicking in around $14.30. Kogan's also had a good few weeks here. Um, what I've noticed is from the peak earlier in the year, it looks like we've got a three wave decline. So with the Elliott wave, often, you know, if you have a wave A, B, C, often wave C is about 1.6 times the length of wave A. In other words, if we measure this, that's wave A, we drag it down. As you can see, this is the, um, uh, we'll just make it a bit bigger so you can see the numbers. So as you can see, this wave C is pretty close to being 1.6 times wave A. So maybe we've seen an ABC correction and maybe the downside is now over for Kogan. However, we just have to keep, we just have to keep an eye on this, um, this low here in April um, because instead of being a three wave decline, it might extend to five waves. And the way that we know that is if the price fails to overlap here and it turns down sharply. If that happens in the next, um, I guess, couple of weeks, then the chances are um, we're gonna take out this low. So we could expect levels back towards $4 for Kogan. At the moment, we don't know that. Um, if it pushes through above this line, that's a positive. So if that happens, I'd be waiting for a higher low uh, and then that would be the, um, uh, the buy signal. Um, boom Logistics, so um, sticking with our weekly chart, so nice move up at the end of last year. It has come back and since the beginning of the year it's, it's down, so it's underperforming a bit, but we've seen some good support come in around 18 cents. Um, then it launched up and it's consolidating again, but what you'll notice is this consolidation, I mean on a weekly basis, is essentially sitting on top of this price action here. So it's it's sort of building up. It's sitting on top, on top of this previous price action. Every time it goes near it, we see the buying come in. So that's a good sign. Um, I think this will head higher. Um, it's not doing anything in a hurry. So if we see this trend line here, I'd be looking for um, a nice weekly close above 24 cents. And to me, that would be a buy signal. And then I'd expect the stock to rally up to a new high. Um, and Anson Resources, ASN, um, obviously the, you know, the, the charts are dominated by this huge move down, um, but we've seen a bit of a recovery here in the last several weeks. 
Uh, and then as it came back towards 10 cents, um, it's been managing to find a bit of support. So we'll just go to a daily chart. We could see that a bit more clearly. So the nice move up in June, July, then it's eased back, finding good support at 10 cents and the volumes exactly what we want to see, uh, volume on the way up. Then as it comes off, the volume just drying up completely. So that's a great sign. Um, the next move, assuming it holds on to 10 cents, should be a fairly decent move on volume. Um, and then you just don't muck around, you just buy it. If you're looking to trade it, um, that will be the signal that it's going to make another move. All right, well, that's it for this week. Um, if you have a request, send it through. Make sure you share the video. The more requests that I get, the more chance I have to filter down to the best ones, which benefit everyone. I'll be back next week.